Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So today we finally got some detailed information of the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. If you guys do not know, basically, you know, let's make a long story short in this case, right? It's basically gonna be upgraded towards a PlayStation 5 and also PC as a 60 FPS with the fidelity mode and plenty of other more improvements that you can definitely expect. So we've gotten an extra information regarding of an upgrade path and also a few new key details and I definitely want to go over them and you know mention them. So we've gotten a PlayStation blog regarding this, it's pretty damn exciting, I want to read it through as well with you and of course share my thoughts at the end. We're excited to share our latest trailer for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, remastered for the PS5 and coming to PC for the first time ever in the series. Our upcoming release included, uh, includes the single player experience of the award winning Uncharted 4 Thieves End, which features Nathan Drake's uh, wary return of his old ways and Uncharted Lost Legacy, a breakout story for antagonist turned ally Chloe Fraser. Uncharted uh, Legacy of Thieves Collection will be available on PS5 on January 28, 2022. For those of you who cannot wait to get your hands on PC version, stay tuned for more details from us on the specs and the upcoming release date. Of course, experiencing the over-the-top blockbuster action and the adventure that both games are renowned for has been greatly improved uh, to complement and take advantage of the features the PlayStation 5 console is known, so let's get into just that. Graphics. First off, graphics updates. Here's the look at the options players can select from. The fidelity mode for those of you who have a 4K display and want super sharp resolution above all else to enjoy stunning environments and details that your Uncharted series is known for. Select fidelity mode and play in the native 4K resolution with a 30 FPS target frame rate. Next up is performance mode. We carried over the high frame rate PS4 patch with the performance mode which targets a 60 FPS frame rate. Performance Plus Mode If you're all about the smoothest gameplay possible and don't mind a resolution drop, try out our first ever Performance Plus Mode, which targets 120 FPS at a 1080p resolution. So that's pretty awesome. So it looks like it's going to be for a AAA standard of a game having a 120 FPS. It's definitely a very nice addition. So let's get into the features. Thanks to the power of the PS5 console, the load time is near instant, so you can jump into the action faster than Nate or Chloe can draw their weapons, which you've seen Chloe take on the band of mercenaries before, it is pretty fast. Enjoy spatial 3D audio and know uh, where the shots are coming and immerse yourself in the, in the ambience of the locations across the, both of the games. With the DualSense wireless controller haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers, we're fine-tuned the rumble and resistance here. Feeling the 4x4 four uh, four vehicle roll along in your hands or landing a punch and then rope swinging to safety has never been so rewarding. So this is actually the part I'm very, very glad and very excited about. We're getting into the pricing and the upgrades. So the Uncharted uh, Legacy of the Thieves collection will be available physically and digitally for the PS5 consoles of the price of $50 or 50 euros. And by the way, you can pre-order it right now. Players who purchase the Uncharted 4 at Thieves Sand, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, or Uncharted 4 Thieves Sand and the Uncharted The Lost Legacy Digital Bundle have an option to pay $10 or 10 euros to upgrade to this Uncharted Legacy of the Thieves digital version. The upgrade will be available starting at launch on January 28, 2022. Owners of the PS4 discs copies must insert them into the PS5 every time they want to download or play the PS5 digital version. PS4 game disc owners who buy the PS5 digital edition disc-free console will not be able to get the PS5 version of the discounted price. Now, let's get into the PlayStation Plus members who claimed Uncharted 4 Thieves Sand via their PlayStation Plus subscription are not eligible for the $10 or 10 years digital PS5 upgrade. Please note that the multiplayer mode included in Uncharted 4 Thieves Sand and Uncharted Lost Legacy will not be a part of this new collection. So that's kind of disappointing to be honest. So the multiplayer mode is not going to be here. It's been abandoned basically. And that's including the, the fourth Uncharted and also the Lost Legacy. In this case as well, what I am very glad about 
that you will only have to pay an upgrade of $10 or 10 euros. To be honest with you, I was very, very skeptical that we would get this sort of upgrade. I was actually really expecting to see that this game would be like worth 40 bucks. And now that it's actually been confirmed, it's going to be 50 instead. Uh, you know, it's kind of expected since it is a PS5 game. So perhaps why they have decided to increase the price. But you know what? Paying an extra 10 bucks, it's totally not a problem for me. And because like I actually have a copy of Uncharted 4 and I have the copy of The Lost Legacy. And so I'm definitely very much glad that I will be getting into it. Okay, so this is a little bit about the movie. They had to be mentioned, didn't they? Of course, it makes sense. You know, the movie's coming out in February and, uh, you know, releasing this game in the end of January, it's per it perfectly makes sense. So, Uncharted Movie Ticket Offer. Between now and February 3rd, uh, 2022, players in select countries can purchase and or upgrade to Uncharted uh, Legacy of the Thieves Collection on PS5 via the PlayStation Store and receive a voucher code for one standard ticket to see the Uncharted movie in a participating theater starting from February 2022. Must be resident of, of Australia, New Zealand, UK or US. Age restrictions apply. Ticket code, uh, basically so on, you can read it for yourself, guys. So I guess that uh, it seems like it's not going to be applying for me, unfortunately. But if you get, you know, this opportunity, of course, why not take it, you know? So one last bit of uh, information is regarding the PC update. PC players, wishlisting for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves can be done on the Epic and, St and Steam stores. At the, and rest assured, we will be uh, uh, revisiting and revealing more pertaining to the PC launch as we head into 2022. We are thrilled to be able to bring both Epic Adventures to returning and new Uncharted fans. So this is, was absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait to dive my time into it again. Dive my time. <laughs> Great English. Uh, but yeah, it's I had a blast with Uncharted 4 and also Lost Legacy. And now we're getting to re-experience it again. But this time, personally for me, 60 FPS. It's going to be definitely a big, big treat. As well as perhaps going for a Platinum once again. Don't know. Perhaps need to decide on that, but not... But yeah, it's going to be very, very much exciting for me. Well, tell me down in the comments as well, what do you think about this news? Like, are you excited? Are you glad about this upgrade path? You know, like, are you glad the way we don't have to actually pay full price once again? Uh, especially those two owners that already had this game on the PS4 version. All right, tell me down in the comments. Love to read it. Like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.